Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Warrior 4. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! Put on a few levels, picked up picked up the stuff we were after. Boomerangs. Boomerang, leather dresses, feather hats, and a chain sickle for Nar over there. And Nara has learned fireball and sap off screen. Nara has only picked up sleep. But oh well. It's good to hear she's sleeping well, but that's of no real relevance to our progress. So, we are going to come over to this western cave. It's a big cave! What's that mean? Well, nothing right now. Haha! And toadstools. Deal with the toadstool, because I don't want to be poisoned. Aha! This is one of those this this is one of those caves where where I'm going to leave the bulk of the treasure where it's at. Mostly because well uh, it's it'll serve it will serve better later. If I pick it up now, it's just going to it's just going to soak up inventory space. Oh well. Hello, sir! Hang on, I'll have to deal with these things first. Yeah, they're called lava dolls, but fireball works just fine. I'm carrying around antidote herbs in case in case anyone gets poisoned along our dur during our trip here. That's uh Hopefully that just won't that just won't be a problem. Like I said, hello, sir. <clears throat> Sphere of silence. Hmm. I haven't heard of it. Oh, you're the person whose wife was always looking for you. Oh yeah. Well, maybe you could find a way downstairs if you'd stop pacing between the opening hall and a dead end. Yeesh. Ah. Take that, punk. Everything wants to come out and play. Good to have a, have Mara actually equipped so she can do damage. Now, up to the north is a treasure box with a wing of wyvern. Oh, you jerk. You stole my magic! Kill it before it can steal more! I already have a wing of wyvern. It got dropped by a, uh, rabid hound. Out of my way, punks. These lava dolls will cast upper if you give them the chance. So, don't. <laughs> as long as you have the option. Alright. And now we've reached the pathway downstairs. It's easy to see why the other guy's eyes are a bit confused, because it's not very obvious. It's like a button. Yeah, this cave has elevators. We are in a different spot. Out of the way, punk. All right. Going back up. Oh, we went down again. Gotta read things better. All right, down to the south is a dead end, so we want to go this way. Ooh, trogs. 
Way with the drugs! Take that, punks. Yay! Woo! More yay! Two hit points, three magic points, and return. Awesome. Cross the bridge! And in this box, we would find the Lamp of Darkness. In a uh, waste of inventory space, Ace, at this point, really. Hello, sir! Oh, you're Orin! Boy, everyone wants revenge. Oh, yeah? Ah! So if we want to defeat Balzac, then we're going to want to get a hold of the Sphere of Silence. Well, that's not entirely true. And in fact, the Sphere of Silence is over is in that box across the water. But uh, Balzac can be defeated without using the Sphere of Silence. And in some ways, that is a beneficial way of doing things, just leaving the Sphere of Silence here. But if you're going to do that, then I would recommend not picking up, picking Orion up until you feel like you're ready to finish the chapter. Because Orin is a very powerful person. Lots of strength, lots of hit points, big old wad of defense. He is a great big meat shield. And he's going right to the front of the line. I'm going to go pick up the Sphere of Silence, but... You, but, uh, well, it's worth considering to not get it. Because if you, if we don't pick it up now, then it will be there later. But since we're not at later, uh, I guess that's just going to be future me's problem. So let's go get it. Orin can one-shot anything in this place. Makes him great to have around. In fact, with Orin in the party, uh, this this entire cave is a uh, kind of a non-issue, so long as we pay attention to the health of the ladies. After all, Orin is a NPC, as depicted by his questionable level. If uh, if Mara and Nara die then that's a game over, whether Orin's still standing or not. Now, off to the left is a box full of money. I don't need that right now. Off to the right here is a box with life force nuts. I don't care for that right now. Let's just knock this guy out of the way and uh, head about picking up our sphere of silence. There's the box full of money. Going down. Age Manja. Dead Manja. But that got sorted out. Don't. Ah. Blaze Ghosts. Perhaps more threatening, perhaps far more threatening in this chapter than they were in previous ones, because Fireball, the spell, doesn't doesn't work on them anywhere near as well as a Sword of Malice. There is no Sword of Malice in this chapter. And these guys are largely resilient, if not immune, to fire-based spells, such as Blaze and Fireball. So, we get to fight them the hard way, where they can do that. Or they can do that. This could get ugly. This is getting ugly. This has gotten extremely ugly. Oh dear. I wish I had that sphere of silence right now. 
Um, hope? Pray? I guess I was just getting unlucky before. Bother! Well, on the upside, we do get experience and money for every Blaze Ghost. So that fight was worth a lot. But yeah, I guess I was just getting unlucky before with the fireball doing damage. Oh well. Let's uh, keep a hold of our magic points in case we need another fireball. Now, ore in here is, ab is absolutely required for, fi for actually finishing the chapter, because Orin can open locked doors. And, well, Balzac was sensible enough to actually lock the door, so... Yeah. But in here, we have the Sphere of Silence. Woohoo! The Sphere of Silence, when used in battle, both works as a... an infinite use, uh, stop spell use as much as we want. It, it doesn't run out of power, and, uh, and it's also, oh, from my experience, or from what little I've seen of it recently, it seems to be, it seems to work, work a lot more often than Stop Spell does. But, if we, if we leave it in that chest and finish the chapter, then when we come back in a later chapter, it will still be there. So you can you can kind of see why why it might be worth worth the challenge to try and and finish this chapter without it. Why do we bring this up? Well, you'll see. I won't spoil it. <laughs> I'm just gonna get out of this cave. In fact, if, if the fights keep keep going on, I might just I might just get out of this cave off screen. But we'll see how that goes. After a lot of walking, aha! Bother. Hmm. Yeah, take that, punks. Man, I bought four antidote herbs in preparation of coming into this cave. I've yet to be poisoned in this cave. I don't feel worried about jinxing myself in this regard because I'd really like to use those antidote herbs. They're kind of wasted space and money if, if nobody's getting poisoned. Go away! Yay! Two points, three points, and Infernos. Awesome. Now both of the girls have a group attack spell. So naturally, the enemies are splitting up a bit. Ugh. Take that, punks. Though Fireball takes four magic points, Infernos takes two. But it but its damage range is a lot larger, as in it ranges from like eight to thirty, as opposed to fifteen to thirty. <laughs> so it's larger, but not in a good way. 
Oh well. Can we leave now? There's nothing left in here that we want. Okay, we'll beat up monsters on our way out. I'm fine with that. We'll continue to fail to get poisoned. That way I can know that I absolutely wasted my money there. Warren! <laughs> Why? Uh, I wish I could control him. I wish I had direct control of him. But oh well. It's kind of the charm of this game is that is that you don't have direct control over the NPCs. It makes telling people what to do go a lot faster. But it can lead to some very awkward situations. Uh, kill the mage. Well, wow, Orin heard me. Oh yeah, this, this cave is dangerous on the way in. Once you get, once you've picked up Orin, it becomes trivial. Well, actually, it becomes a a, a decent place for for getting money and experience. It's kind of nice in that regard. Oh, that was hilarious. Can I kill it now? Good boy. If those lava dolls cast upper on themselves, they'll still get one-shotted by Orin. It's great. Orin will go a long ways towards helping our our quest for vengeance and succeed. Ah, eh, kill him anyway. Of course. Yay! Ah! Items! No! I needed Nara's items! Yeesh! Well, that will do for now. Next time, we'll head north. We'll see you then. Later.